Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to talk through the Canon 5D. Um, so I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial on the menu settings and the Q button on this camera. Um, thanks for watching all the videos. I appreciate all the comments um, and all the subscribers that I have had in the last couple of months. I've you know, I'm hitting sort of 15,000 on this channel, so I appreciate all the newbies that have followed follow me on this channel. Very nice of you to join the little posse. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for that, and uh, let's get into this camera. Okay, I have switched on the camera now, and I'm gonna click on the menu. And when I go to the menu, you can see there's lots of things in this in this menu. So to hover through it, you just basically use this toggle over here to toggle through your menu. So for example, if I go to the little camera symbol, I've got live view. I can disable that, enable that. I've got quick mode. So I've got live mode. I can select that. I've got my rule, uh, rule of third, my grid. So I can select that and have it six by four, three by three. Um, so I could choose the grid format I want. There's 3x3 three three and dialog as well. So I'm going to select that to see what that does. And I've got my aspect ratio, which is my film and photo size. So I can stick 4x3 or 16x9. So I have got it at 16x9. I've got exposure simulation. So this simulates the exposure within the environment. So I can select that. Okay. Um, and again, if I hover through my menu within this one icon you've got four sub menus and within those four sub menus you've got image quality so you can change the uh, image quality like this by again just flicking through with this wheel um, the size you want so obviously if you want it raw you would select raw and if you want the fast to be small large medium um, there are there's four four small single three single well single one to single three and you got L, L two L's which are two different and I think what I think what the symbols mean is some are JPEG and some are raw so when you put it on large um, and you go to raw it will select it will make it'll do two files which are both large JPEG and also raw so that's quite useful for particularly studio photographers then you've got your image review. So this basically gives um, the amount of time the image stays on screen. So I usually leave it for two seconds because I just want to quickly check and then move on to the next thing. You've got beep. So beep basically enables the sound. So when you take a photograph, the, a little beeping noise will come on and it will just kind of, it's more of a, uh, an audio signal to let you know that, that the picture's been taken. Then you've got release shutter with with that card, so you can put that on. I don't really know what that does, to tell you the truth. I think it's basically um, when you take the picture, it will record it and um, the shutter will release whilst it's taking, whilst it's recording on the card. I think that's what it does. Never used it, to tell you the truth. There are a lot of settings in this camera. You'll be like, I don't need that. I don't need this. And you'll be thinking to yourself, why am I using this? Why am I doing this? And you might not never ever use it. Um, lens cor aberration, aberration. Can, if anyone can pr pronounce aberration, and if anyone can tell me what aberration means, I would be greatly appreciative. So just leave a comment about what aberration means. I don't know. Truth be told. <laughs> I'm going to click on it, and it gives. Oh, it gives me some information about the peripheral. Aluminum and chromatic aber aberration. Okay, I have never used that, so I don't know. If anyone knows, give me a shout. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to menu by clicking on the menu, and I'm going to go down to external speed light control. So speed light is your flash gun. So if you've got a flash gun on your hot shoe, this is the controls for your flash gun. So obviously I have not got a flash gun on this camera, so therefore I cannot really change those parameters. Mirror lockup. Um, so if I click on that, you can have mirror lockup on or on or off. Um, that's your mirror inside your camera. Again, if I click on the menu and go to the next sub menu, I've got exposure comp. Now I'm not going to go through exposure compensation. I'm not going to go through ISO because I think if you guys are, um, you know, sort of entry level photographers, these are the things that you've probably looked at: white balance, um, color, you know, um, color space. These two are controls within your frame in terms of where you want your optimized color so these are quite useful things to say truth go back to my menu again go to the next set oh someone almost came in um go to the next setting which is the next 
um, sub menu and this one's got picture style so this might be useful for you guys so within here you've got picture style and a lot of dslr cameras particularly the new ones like the 90d and the r7 and the r10 have sub menus like this and usually they've got there's a little visual like if you've got a nikon it'll give you a little visual oh. and this the, the pictures the standard picture format so you can you know you can select one of these for portrait and it'll give you a better portrait so if you do studio work you probably want portrait if you're doing landscape you will probably want landscape and if you do um, sports photography you will probably want landscape or um or one of those and again if you go if you go into the sub menu so like if, again if i go back into that menu um and i go to go back to go back to my third menu so i was in this one so i'm going to the fourth one now i put it on landscape noise noise reduction now Long exposure, noise reduction, I personally would have that on because, yes, this is a very, very high-end camera. It's still a high-end camera. You know, you've got mirrorless cameras. Not many people are using DSLR cameras these days, but this camera is still, like, pretty, you know, decent in terms of image quality. But you, you, you definitely want your noise on noise reduction on on this uh, particularly if you're shooting in low um low key lighting for example then you've got your um, high iso uh speed nr uh and this is for your iso you probably want that to be on standard i would think um and then you've got like a delete uh, dust which is in your sensor you've got um multiple exposure you can have that on or off disable it um have it on maybe um, and a lot of these things I'm talking about, you probably won't need, but I'm, you know, I thought I'd just have a little conversation about them anyway. Um, and I think that's that's about it in terms of that sub menu. The fourth one says so four, and within this one you've got your live view, your um, th um, three by three dialogue grid display on, um, and within that one menu, one tab, you've got four sub menus. Okay, a lot of things to go through. Um, I think that's enough for that one, tell you the truth. Now, your Q button, so your, your Q button, this button here, this button here is on most um, Canon cameras, and it uh, just basically allows you to shorthand to your main settings that you need in order to control the camera. Now, I don't tend to go to menu and go through all this stuff that I've just talked about and change stuff on location. I tend to have all those things preset. And if I'm filming, I would have my my grid on. I would have noise reduction off. I might have had a change, change my white balance to a certain tone. Maybe if I'm shooting outdoors, I might want it a bit more blue. So then I'd have to do more color correction. So I would have those things preset in order for me to just not faff around with them. But the thing that i do play around with is the q button so if i go back to my menu and i click on my q button so i do go through here and you know to to, to toggle through these settings all you do is you use this toggle and you just basically hover through it you can also um you know sort of change the settings in here like this so basically you got your shutter so you got shutter, you can change like this or you can use the top wheel to to move it or you can use this wheel which is much quicker then you got your f stop which is your aperture and again you can change that over here as well and you got your iso which at the moment is set up auto you can take all that all the way all the way and i'm, I'm going to keep going like all the way to the sahara desert goes up to 250 250 is that two is that 200,000 or is that 2560 i think it's 200 200,000 iso which is crazy that goes so high it's unbelievable okay go back to my q button um i've got my exposure compensation and i've also got my custom controls and this is useful if you want to control and change certain buttons so if i hover through this these are already preset but some people might want to use different buttons because they're used to a different model so you can change these buttons to be something else like you can change it to avtv or iso now i don't tend to change that because i don't want to I'm not, you know, I've always used the uh, system set settings that are Canon has displayed. So for, for me to change those, I am thinking, oh my days, if I wanted to change them quickly and I'm clicking on the wrong button, then I might do some, something that I didn't want to do. But you can, if you want to, click on that button and change those around if you wish. If I click on Q button again, you've got your file size. So again, this goes direct to my um, JPEG and my RAW. 
So I can select and I can change. So if I'm to do studio work, so change the rule, you have to use this top dial button and you can select rule. And if I click on it again, I can select rule. Or I can use this button to change it as well to change my gen. So I'm, I'm going to shoot one. So I'm going to shoot an image and it will capture it in both rule and JPEG at a large file size. Um, it's worth putting it on for both JPEG and RAW because obviously RAW image is going to capture a lot more data in your image so therefore if you're taking it into Lightroom there's going to be a lot more uh, pixel in the image in order for you to amend and change it and modify etc so you've also got single shooting so if you want to shoot if you do fast sports photography you might want it on high speed shoot so if you just select that that will obviously put it on that and then you've got uh, again if I select that put it on there you, to use my toggle and take you to the next which is my spot metering and then the next one is manual focus which is only um, um, which is it's on manual focus because my camera my my lens is on manual focus if i put it in auto focus it will give me more options okay so what i've just done there is i've changed that to manual and it's just got manual and if i change it to auto focus it's giving me a lot more options within my camera click on my q button uh, go to uh, this button here and this one again will give me my picture styles that I want to use Whew, I'm tired now I said that without a breath um, I think that's all I'm gonna go through with this Canon 5d uh, I think I've, I've talked about a lot of things there Taytree so if you've got any questions drop me a message I will respond to any particular comments that people make some people have been asking me about um, uh, menus Q button some people have been asking about how do I view my image from my viewfinder to my d uh, digital screen and some people can't work out that you have to press the Q button in order to get to the viewfinder some people have been asking me about the hot shoe and how do I connect my um, lens uh, sorry my flash gun to my camera and how do I change the settings within my ETTL so things like that people have been asking me so if you've got any direct questions related to those type of topics please do comment and I'm happy also to make videos on those sort of topics as well thanks for watching bye bye